Hello and welcome back to Pandemic Playground with Dave. So today we have a random build kind of experiment and that is building mobile drilling stations. All right, so let's get started. So let's build a mobile drilling station in our kind of experimental playground that we have here in the desert. Uh, let's find a fairly flat spot without all the destruction and we could probably build out a bit of a drilling station which you may have seen in the building a space elevator time lapse. Of course I can build it all in the time lapse but why waste the time to build it fail build it fail in that sense. So let's try to find a good build for what I'm trying to do. So we can first start off with a nice bit of a uh, landing gear and we can build it up from there. So we could build it right on top of it. We could build it from the side of it. I am in a bit of a creative mode here using the admin tools. So we could build this quickly, easier in that sense. The plan for the mobile drilling station initially was a eight wheeled system that was as simple as possible, but I failed at doing that at the same time so let's just try it one more time so basically at the base of it all uh i i really wanted it to go fairly high up not too too crazy i think we went as far as 13 but i'm gonna go 15 here the idea was to make it only three wide but i think we should really make it more than three wide so it should probably be Let's just say five wide. One, two, three, four, five. And then we can go up from here. So this is probably the ideal um, dimensions for that, right? So then we go up this way and that's when we're gonna add the hinge pieces here and here. And then we're gonna attach more blocks to it so basically we're gonna attach the blocks all the way up to here um since we're in creative mode we could just do this so oh. yeah right there and then plug in Ooh, not what i wanted <laughs> no batteries that's why that happened but anyways we could just do this and if we have build vision on we could just uh, oop. we could just attach it and we're good to go so that piece is stuck together which is perfect, but I do need to put some kind of battery system on here. But what we can do is actually use this going this way now instead. Right, so let's just place a whole bunch of it together like this. And right in the middle is where I wanted to have the large cargo container. So I wanted to have the large cargo container right here. Why use the large cargo container? Because we want to use as much cargo as much as much cargo as possible so we can fill it up from there technically with the current build this wide we could put two of them i think right we have seven blocks away that's yeah we could technically put two if we really really wanted to but let's just go with the one for now and what i really wanted to do was create the connection point down here and we can do convey junction or something like that right over here and that's where we will place our hinge system right over here as well so basically we just do this regular hinge right there and since it might take a lot of materials, well not not so it may take a lot of pistons and drill weight, we probably need additional hinges to keep it up, right? So what we can do in this case, um, we just put the piping systems here. So I think I used the T shape here last time, and we plugged in multiple hinges right here. So we could do the same thing as we did in the upper platform, right? So put the hinges right next to each other, get rid of the hinge part, the hinge head, and put it on these piping system here. So we could actually use this if you really, really wanted to, which may actually look a little bit better than what I've done in the time lapse itself. 
But here is where we put this piece here and here. And then, of course, make sure we attach it right there. Okay. So three hinges attached and the piping is not necessary whatsoever, but we can hold up with regular blocks of anything in this case. But here is where we put the digging piece of it. So we do three or four deep and we can utilize that same kind of build the rotor with the hinge right here with the drill. So that's a ideal drilling system that I've been playing around with lately. But now I think we just made it a little bit too long. Actually, no, it's perfect. It's just right. <laughs> so 15 is just right in a way. So it's going to collide a little bit over here. We can get that fixed by instead of using blocks, right? To get it all connected, we can use something like the, we can use neon tubes. Or we can use the the pillars right here, the interior pillar pillars. So we can just connect it this way, and it should save us some space there. And hopefully that works out um, as well as possible. We could use beam blocks and everything like that too. Um, but that should work out okay. Actually, that's going to work out really, really fine or, or great because it's wide enough now than what we had it to begin with right so that's a big change in the build process so i guess this would be more the ideal version of the mobile drilling station so that's your here's your arm and then we build out this piece here so right over here so that's what we want from this whole thing and it be it would be nice of course to connect it and I have four individual legs like I did in the time that's build so that's the incorrect way of doing it. not incorrect but the not so great way of building it uh, in that sense but here is where we have this hinges here and of course because we flipped down the hinges I was gonna flip around these hinges as well so we're gonna do it that way and of course same thing if we're gonna connect platforms Best thing to do, add the hinge part, add the hinge part, and then of course with build vision, makes it easier, attach it here, and attach it here, which you could also do by going to any other control panels on this rover as well. So that's kind of what I was looking into doing. Um, so this right here goes away, this goes away, and now the wheel. So the wheel section, we needed to build it out a little bit better. So the wheel section, we, we put the wheel suspension right here last time, which was a mistake. We should we should have definitely made it a little bit deeper. So it could have been one more or two two blocks far further or so, but I think that's gonna kinda collide here. Yeah, so that's not gonna really, really work out. So I think we're stuck with this because the platform up top is not as wide. So let's see if this is going to work out. So this side, I'll, I'll say this is the front. So this is going to be our left suspension. And we're going to build it out this way. And this is the opposite way. So we get out of the way. So the wheels can spawn. There you go. So that is the bottom wheels. And then, of course, we got to do the other side as well. So let me just connect this way and get rid of this. And we're good. Okay, perfect. I was, a little, I'm afraid, I was afraid it was going to drop for whatever reason. I mistake, made a mistake somewhere, but it didn't, which is good. Okay. So as quickly and as easily as that, this is where we put the right side. And the same exact way. So that's going to be this way and this way. So this is going to be a very fundamental, quick little type of build for a drilling station where we can go upwards fairly quickly and then drop down a bit more to kind of do the drilling so obviously four wheels might not be enough so we want to probably get some additional wheels kind of closer to the center which is mostly the weight so we got to be careful about that as well All right so we could put one let's just say i guess here just just random spot to be honest 
Um, we'll put one here. We'll put this one. I think that's leveled with that side. Should be. Right there. And of course, the same thing. Wheels left and right. So this side. This side. And we'll put the right on this side. That side. There we go. So we, since we're a lot taller, we could put another one right down the middle. At the moment, I don't see a need for that. So we should be okay. So now we need, of course, a cockpit or a seat. Let's just say a seat for now. And we could design this a little bit better if we need to. But for the sake of it, for the kind of like the testing of this, um, let's just see if it works out okay or not. Um, but of course, we also do need to do a lot of naming conventions here. So these are going to be the hinge drill base, I guess you can say, right? And hinge drill base and hinge drill base why i call this the hinge drill base is because this is the actual hinge drill <laughs> and this is the rotor drill although we only have one of these that's fine pistons we could just say piston drill as well kind of that's my kind of naming convention for these things um, so we take all the pistons let's just say this way, this one, this one here, and shared inertia for these. And why I put them all drill is because when I type in drill now, it picks up the drill, the hinge drill, piston drills, rotor drills, and also these hinge bases. Although probably just a hinge base might be the better naming convention so that we don't touch that if we don't need to. But I think we do anyways, but oh well, it's fine. So we could just do as easy as this, HBs. Um, this is going to be my PD group. <laughs> Something, yeah, like I said, like, like I always do, if you notice, my naming conventions for these things are not, like, very, very smart. <laughs> They're just very shorthanded, in, in, in a sense. So now, with all that done, what we also could do, of course, is add a piston to lock onto the ground to make life easier. Um... Especially when we start drilling so we don't move and everything like that, right? Although we could do parking, that's that works okay too. But if we push the drill down too quickly, it's going to cause issues. So we could definitely add a piston system um, right over here somewhere. We would probably want to build it out one block away, right? So we could do something like this as an example. And we use a landing gear. We could use any other mechanism that connects to the ground or locks into the ground. But in this case, a magnetic plate would work just fine. I think this one is a little too big, right? Yep, that's a little too big. So let's not do that one. A landing gear would work. This will work just, just as great as well. So we can do this. And that should help us with locking it to the ground when we needed to so this one of course we can call this the piston lock right <laughs> something like that piston lock here and of course the piston lock will be called pls in this case as a group and the magnetic plates will be our magnetic plates so we just have those grouping. All right. The next grouping obviously is these. So these we need to do, I guess, the hinge wheels in a sense. So we're just going to call it hinge wheels. Wheels or wheels? What did I say? Wheel. Okay. Um, hinge wheel. And another hinge wheel here. Right, so this is the quick fundamental build of what I was thinking of, and it should work out fine. Uh, I just failed at it because one, this was not connected together, and it decided to fall. Um, should we add a gyroscope? Is another thing, which I think maybe we should. 
that would probably go better, right? <laughs> if we add a gyroscope. So we can add a gyroscope right up here on top if we want to. But I'm probably going to add it right back here. Just for the sake of it for now. And definitely, definitely could design this way better looking. Uh, but let's see how this is going to look. So basically what we can do here. So this is the front. And we have to drill right now going down so we can start drilling so we can easily go block tools or take the drilling block right here say toggle on off take out groups of pistons the p d's and we can do reverse um and also our locking system here we can do reverse as well until it locks or what should we do? Yeah, that should be fine. We should probably set some kind of maximum as well for these. So that it doesn't go down too, too low. But we'll figure that out in a second. Um, other than that, we should be okay. Um, so that's the drill. So now the wheel piece, let's just use two, let's just use two bar number two and do the grouping. Oh, we didn't even do the grouping for this. So the grouping for the H hinge wheel is going to be HW, right? As easy as that or as simplified as that. And we could just, uh, we could use, I'll use two bar. I'll use two bar number two just for the sake of it. So we're going to look for the HWs. And of course, we're going to put it here as reverse. So right now, I got to find out what degrees <laughs> are our hw so it is currently at negative 90 so that's our lower limit so that means i think we're gonna go with zero for your upper limit so to have it all kind of flipped over and around the wrong way so let's do that and i think we are set to go potentially so here is so here is the Hinge base, which is not doing anything, of course, because there's no velocity. So let's put one velocity. So here we go. That is right now because it's still stuck on the ground. It's going to flip over like this, but that seems to work, be working out fine <laughs> in a way. Almost transformer like, <laughs> but we just want it to be straight. Yep. There we go. Straight. A little of a boing action going on right there, but <laughs> we can ignore that for now and of course with the drilling system i completely forgot to also put in the group for the uh, hinge bases and we can do reverse for this as well so with that the hinge bases these guys we can do a velocity of one but we got to figure out which way we want to go so i'm thinking upper limit in this case because i have it flipped over opposite of the Hinge wheels in this case for whatever reasons, but it is what it is. And here's our kind of mosquito drilling arm, right? And then we can easily flip over the rest of this thing. So I think we should be okay. This is the, again, the most fundamental mobile drilling station you could probably make that looks, that works decently. It's high enough to go deep enough. We could set up in a slightly different way, but I think. We just want to do something as simple as this. So let me delete these pieces here and hope it doesn't flip over. And luckily, <laughs> just luckily, I added this piston here. So that is a good thing <laughs> because I completely forgot that I had this here. So it's a little bit on the heavy side. So hopefully that doesn't touch the ground and we are golden right there. Perfect. All right. So we got to kind of fix this somehow. Yeah. So hmm. a piston lock. So I, I don't see how I can, why are these, is it too heavy where I can't move these 
up or is it because it's locked it's probably because it's locked so if i unlock it it's likely gonna fall so let me just make a copy of it <laughs> it's the easiest way to go about this and we can put this down right over here and that's looking good okay so why don't i work off of this one here we go so we're gonna put that in park and we're good so here is what's interesting is that this is extending and it can't pick it up with just the two and it's probably because it doesn't have the shared inertia no it does um i don't think I, it, I think it's too heavy for two to pick it up so that's fine but at least we can know the maximum so we could do maximum as four potentially maximum distance is four I think that'll be fine so here we can lock it unlock it blah 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 right so get our magnetic plates um, do a switch lock so we do switch lock bring it up I think that's it yep that's working fine all right so it looks like we're a little bit on the heavy side oh you know what <laughs> something we completely forgot and of course that would be a programming block so we definitely need a programming block why because we are running wheels <coughs> on subgrids so of course we want to add a script here and i use the subgrid wheel control script right here by whips sub uh, yeah the whips subgrid wheels control script so just apply this, check the code, looks fine, and run it. And then we're good to go. I think we're about to flip over. Here we go. Ooh. Nope. 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 Not good. <laughs> so, so once again, we kind of failed at it because it's too tall. It's one thing. So that's the biggest problem with these things here. So here we have another one. We're going to... I think we had the wheels power a little too fast before so let's put on our script again browse subgrid wheel script okay here we go so now if we're not stuck on the ground okay so we have a problem where we <laughs> we need to do some kind of balancing act to get this upright appropriately which is not an ideal process and oop and <laughs> none of this is actually working out exactly as i planned okay so that's doing a little bit better i'm not sh so i think it's because the wheels uh because our wheels are a little bit offset it or not offset it it's a little bit too close together so that's why it's falling down so i guess in this way it's a bad design <laughs> obviously right definitely a bad design um so we definitely need to increase the pistons up front here so that it locks when we need it to lock so i think we had it set before but that was the one that crashed so our piston lock here we're gonna say we're gonna say maximum distance of four so we can have that lock in at four in that case okay so at least right now we have some height on the drilling portion of the mobile base or the mobile drilling station um, it is a long, long rover, but it should be okay. Here. We're going to extend the pistons here. Have it auto-locked, right? Now, we're going to fix the wheels this way. And we should lock in the moment we get as close as we can in terms of being vertical. So that way, at least we know we won't fall. And that's perfect. So then we can bring our kind of mosquito straw or whatever or straw here 
and then start the drilling process basically and then we can go straight down so yeah i think yeah definitely the wheels being so close together like that is probably the biggest issue that we're having but at least we can drill right here just like this which is kind of perfect for what we need well of course we drill too fast it's gonna break <laughs> but this kind of works as a drilling station or a mobile drilling station in some ways um, we should lower the piston speed for the drill but this is working out okay and we can gather a ton and ton of materials for the large car container I think I broke something, so... Something's definitely broken. Yep, that's broken. <laughs> so now everything should blow into the large car container. I believe. Okay, something's definitely not working right. Oh, you know what? I used a rotor... <laughs> uh, a regular rotor instead of an advanced rotor. So that's the problem there. But... We can kind of ignore that for the time being. As pretty much this build works okay, but not the best. So we do need to fix this uh, kind of down the line to make it a little bit better. But at least we can have somewhat of a simplified mobile drilling station that kind of works, but could be better. <laughs> so... I like the design where we can do this and have it kind of flipped over and make it into one long rover-ish thing. But with this, you have to use a script in order to drive this thing. So that's another piece of the puzzle right here. And it works out okay. It's not terrible. Um, turning radius is probably horrendous. <laughs> but at least we could go to an ore spot just like that what's in front of us right there. And of course having a long rover like this is never ideal. Because we can tend to easily break stuff. But we do have to have it on a hinge. So if we need to climb. We could just do this. <laughs> and change the height of the height of it basically. In terms of like a, a random suspension. But yeah the idea was to make a rover, rover such as this. So that we can drive it around. Get to these ore deposit spots like this. And we should probably add an ore detector. And whatever this ore is, we could just pop pop right in here. Extend our piston to lock in. Change our wheels to go up. And then have our drills point down. So all this is to get that drilling station up and running. And collect the various ores as quickly as possible. And of course we would want to add a advanced rotor. Not a regular rotor. With the hinge so when we get down in towards the ores that we want like iron we can slowly angle it up and rotate it to collect just the ores that we want and not just all stone so that's um the quick quick version of a or my version of a mobile drilling station that seems to be working okay with some you need some tweaks here <laughs> uh because it, it's definitely definitely gonna like fall and crash on you if you if i release these it's gonna it's one of the hardest things to drive although we have an ore detector uh, no, okay. although we have a gyroscope we we can't really maneuver it very very well so that's the fault of that um there's got to be a better way to do this and potentially uh, we can try to make one similar Let's see if I can just drop this one down all right there we go and I was thinking since we're using the script for the subgrid wheels control we can kind of go with another rotor for the wheels to make it more balanced but I feel like we need a different or a separate um, joint so that would mean there's a joint here, a joint here on both sides. So then we can create some kind of rotor wheel like thing. So that's another option we can play around with. So basically, instead of having a suspension here and here, the idea would to have a rotor system right here, right? And then some a few blocks this way, maybe one only this way, 
potentially. And we do the same thing right here. But we might run into some issues later down the line, but we should be okay for the most part. And then we add our wheels here. So this is the right side. So we're going to add a wheel here. And it's got actually, we could do it this way. And we can add multiple if we need to. I think that's too close anyways. Um, so we can do something like that, basically. Add the wheels on here if we can. So let's see if I can lift this thing up some more. So I guess we gotta increase the torque here. Yep. And now bring it up. And then we'll add the wheels right there. So we we'll add the wheels here, 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 and here. So what we're what we're gonna have to do once we lower it is turn the torque off for these um, rotors as well. So let's just do the same thing with this side, and I think it's gonna work out okay. I mean, I've done it before on the small. Oh, yeah, I've done it before on the small grid version um, in Surviving Europa. Time the time lapse build that I did, and that thing looked pretty cool. Um, but. Never really tried it on a large version, <laughs> which would be better to gather materials. So we throw one here, one here, one here, and one here. Right? So then we are going to drop this guy just a bit. And we're going to do reverse here. We're going to reset. Oh, I guess we need to increase that for now. Let's just get it in. First, and we need four here, and I think we're good here. Okay, so let's leave that. I think we can go a little bit higher than four. I think let's just say 4.5. Yeah, that's fine. We'll reset that out, and there we go. So, since we're close to the ground, this is where we can do we should name these, but we don't have to. Because we, we named all the other rotors. The only, I mean, the only one rotor, which should be an advanced rotor. <laughs> we can just do no torque here. We can turn it off. Doesn't really matter. Um, but with the subgrid script on, we should be okay. And if it's just recompile it, run it. And now we can run those wheels, I believe. Yes. Right, so we don't necessarily need these wheels. I'll leave it there for now, but I don't think we really need it. But the good news now, since we added the rotors, I think if we un if we moved up and unlocked, we can kind of drive this guy decently, not perfect. As you see there. Oh nope. <laughs> that doesn't work out. <laughs> So, maybe need a little bit of torque on those on those rotors. Um, I should have copied it, but let's see if I can just restart. All right, so perfect. Our save did actually work out right here. So we are four point five. Yep, we perfectly perfectly got a save file right before I crashed and burned this thing. So let's make a copy there. And like I said before, I think we need a little bit of torque here. Nothing too crazy. So I don't even know what the default is. What is the default? The default is 3.6. 3 we are going to say, let's just, I don't know. That's just a random placement. Let's see if we can kind of balance act this thing a little bit. And hopefully we kind of drive it. We don't, we're not planning to drive it when it's upwards like this. Why? There's no reason why we should be driving it like this anyways. So we're going to bring this guy up. And yep, oh, it's a little bit of a balancing act now. <laughs> so that's interesting. But if we extend the wheels out like that. And the drill system, of course. Oh. Right there. 
we have a nicer kind of platform for our wheels and that might be able to drive a little bit better than what we had previously so it also helps with the rocky roads and everything like that as you see here it's picking up on the back end <laughs> and that might drive a little bit better and i think this probably would be the better idea here but the worst problem is that yeah you can't this you can't drive it <laughs> when it's going upwards there if you make the platform a little bit wider meaning uh, the top platform this platform like pretty much up to here on both ends then maybe we can have it standing up like that but it's just too tall uh, for its own good basically but we can easily just go this way and we gotta quickly <laughs> get our pistons over there to lock before we flip over but i think this is another design that I would probably go for right there right so we can easily bring this guy down let's just do the piston drill system instead of negative five uh i mean uh, yeah negative point five let's just do point two for example so we can do reverse turn the drill on reverse we can easily go down and not have any problems drilling for the ore or the stone and that's going to collect that way so i think there's more designing to do here <laughs> so that we can control it a little bit better but like i said there's no way we were really gonna plan to drive this thing like this it's almost impossible we need it to be a lot wider on top in order to balance it out but i think having it this way kind of works out because we get a little bit more balance off of the additional wheels right and we could add more torque to make it a little bit easier to balance out so i think we could try that as well right so if we add it more torque let's just say halfway there roughly right so let's just say maybe 45 right there and give that a shot that that might just work out okay let's see <laughs> let's just see how well that might work so obviously we gotta move this drill this way that's what is going to make it heavy up front which is the biggest problem but if we were to release it um a little bit of a bouncing axe still as you see here Ooh. but it's kind of doable kind of not but we as long as we immediately get the road rotors not the rotors the hinges to expand it out then it works out fairly okay so that is kind of the plan for our mobile drilling station i think <laughs> i mean we could do better than this i for sure but as simple as that because we don't really need it for you know for very long we just needed to grab some material as quick as possible and what's interesting is that's not locking to the ground okay there you go <laughs> i thought that was not gonna lock in at all but all right so that works out okay and for design purposes um yeah for so for design purposes we can even add more here right so instead of having it this kind of simple kind of piece to it we can just add a bit of a design here uh, to make it look okay or a little bit better uh, even here we can do kind of like a half block if we need to right so that it doesn't touch the the drill system or the pistons in that case so lots to do or lots we can do with this to make this a nice little uh, moving drilling station we can add definitely add a ton more wheels right over here if we needed to so oops. we can add a wheel here that's too close 
We can add a wheel there. We can add a wheel over here, for an example. If we really, really need it to add additional wheels, that's a possibility. And that should be good. I think if we can add some weight here, I should be able to prop up this guy to add the wheel. There we go. And we got a wheel. So basically, adding more wheels will probably make it a little bit easier to drive when we're top heavy like this. Maybe. <laughs> it's not something we would want to do. No, it's a bit of a balancing act. But it kind of works. It, it does kind of work. I think it's going to depend on the, the platform. But we are falling down a bit. Which is not good. <laughs> <laughs> but if I drive forward, yeah, it'll, it'll just do some kind of balancing act. So we definitely need to do something like this. And oop, that is not exactly what I wanted, but yeah. <laughs> but that's going to be that. So hope you guys enjoyed this kind of random experiment of a build for a mobile drilling station. Um, I'm trying to make something as simple, as easy as possible um, but of course there's so many other ways to do it and that was just my kind of dumb way of kind of figuring out what i want to do in our space elevator series because i just want something simple doesn't use too much materials so we can go ahead and ga gather um all different types of ores like even platinum silver gold if we can find it and so that way we don't have to go down ourselves and dig through <laughs> but yeah so that is my version of a mobile drilling system um i can probably perfect it a little bit better based on what we've done here maybe the idea is to not make it so vertical we ch we we angle it just a little bit maybe like a 70 degrees 60 degrees maybe even 45 degrees angle on the hinge and that way we could easily drive it at that height the vertical side way although you're ideally not going to drive it around that way anyways so who knows maybe that's not the way to go but it was just a fun little experiment to see how that all kind of works out and of course sharing a bit of my fails was kind of what i thought you guys might be interested in also <laughs> so once again hope you guys enjoy if you did hit that thumbs up like the video don't forget to subscribe to the channel and of course Drop some comments down below. And with that said, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.